Have you ever felt frustrated because you're eating less, yet still gaining weight? You're not alone. Millions are cutting calories but not seeing results. For decades, we were told weight loss is all about calories in versus calories out. But what if I told you that this formula, while partly true, doesn't explain the full picture? Groundbreaking research from Harvard, Stanford, and top nutrition experts shows that hormones, metabolism, and body composition play a much bigger role. It's not just about what you eat, but how your body processes it. In today's video, we'll uncover five shocking truths about hidden weight gain, backed by science. And most importantly, you'll learn how to fix it naturally, without starving yourself or counting every bite. 1. Calories in, calories out, a true but incomplete model. Many people believe that losing weight is as simple as eating fewer calories than you burn. This is the classic, calories in, calories out, CICO, model. And while it's based on thermodynamics, it doesn't explain the full picture. Dr. David Ludwig, an endocrinologist at Harvard Medical School, argues that not all calories are metabolized equally. For example, 100 calories from sugar trigger a very different hormonal and metabolic response compared to 100 calories from nuts. When you eat ultra-processed carbs, insulin spikes, fat storage increases, and metabolism slows down, even if calorie intake is low. Studies published in The Lancet show that low-quality calories, like refined carbs, lead to more fat gain than high-quality calories. So, you can technically be in a caloric deficit, but still store more fat depending on your food quality. Moreover, your body adapts by reducing metabolic rate when you eat less, making weight loss harder. That's why many people eat little but still feel fatigued, bloated, and frustrated by the scale. In short, calories matter, but context and quality matter more. 2. The real king, hormones decide calorie fate. The real boss behind fat gain isn't just calories, it's your hormones. Insulin is the key hormone that decides whether calories are used for energy or stored as fat. According to Dr. Jason Fung, a kidney specialist and author of The Obesity Code, chronically high insulin levels lock fat inside fat cells. This means even if you're eating less, your body can't burn fat until insulin levels drop. Other hormones like ghrelin, hunger hormone, and leptin, satiety hormone, also get dysregulated when you undereat or sleep poorly. Cortisol, the stress hormone, rises with sleep deprivation or anxiety, and it promotes abdominal fat gain. In women, thyroid hormones are especially important. Even mild thyroid imbalances can reduce metabolism significantly. So if you're eating less but your hormones are out of balance, fat loss becomes nearly impossible. That's why many experts now view obesity as a hormonal condition, not just a caloric one. Fixing your hormones, not just counting calories, is the smarter path to fat loss. 3. The Metabolism Mystery – Why We Burn Calories Differently Not all bodies burn calories the same way, and your metabolism isn't fixed. According to a landmark study published in Science, metabolic rate varies significantly between individuals, even of the same size and weight. Dr. Herman Ponser, a metabolic researcher at Duke University, found that the body adapts to calorie intake and physical activity in surprising ways. When you cut calories too much, your body senses a threat and slows down calorie burning to conserve energy. Your basal metabolic rate, BMR, the calories you burn at rest, can drop by up to 20% with aggressive dieting. Muscle mass also plays a huge role, the more lean muscle you have, the more calories you burn. But after age 40, most people lose muscle unless they do resistance training, which lowers BMR even more. Sleep, hormones, gut microbiome, and even cold exposure can all influence metabolism. So, if your friend eats more than you but stays slim, it's likely because their metabolic engine runs hotter. Understanding and supporting your metabolism is key to long-term, effortless fat loss. 4. Fake, weight gain, it's not always fat. Sometimes the number on the scale goes up but it's not fat you're gaining. Many people experience false fat gain due to water retention, inflammation, or bloating. After a salty meal or a poor night's sleep, your body may hold 1 to 3 kilograms of extra water weight. Dr. Michael Mosley, creator of the 5 to 2 diet, 
says that sleep deprivation alone can cause hormonal shifts that increase fluid retention. Digestive issues like constipation or food intolerances can also make your belly look bigger. Women may see fluctuations in weight during their menstrual cycle due to hormone shifts. Even a tough workout can cause short-term inflammation, leading to temporary weight gain. Stress and cortisol are also major causes of abdominal bloating unrelated to actual fat. So before panicking over a 1 to 2 kilograms gain, ask yourself, is it real fat, or just your body's temporary response? Learning to spot, fake, weight gain helps you stay calm and focused on sustainable results. 5. Building a sustainable fat loss lifestyle. Crash diets and extreme restrictions may show fast results, but they rarely last. Sustainable fat loss is about building habits that support your hormones, metabolism, and mental health. Start by focusing on nutrient-dense whole foods, vegetables, quality protein, good fats, and slow carbs. Time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting, when done right, can help lower insulin and improve fat burning. Movement matters. Strength training preserves muscle and boosts metabolism, while walking reduces cortisol. Prioritize 7 to 8 hours of sleep. It's a fat loss tool as powerful as diet or exercise. Hydration, fiber, and gut health also play huge roles in fat burning and cravings control. Track progress with how you feel, how clothes fit, and energy levels, not just the scale. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. Healing your metabolism takes time and consistency. With a hormone-friendly, science-based approach, you can lose fat without starving or suffering. Now you know, it's not always your fault if you're gaining weight despite eating less. Your hormones, metabolism, and even timing of meals can betray your best efforts. But the good news is, you can take back control. Start by being kind to your body, listening to your hunger cues, and choosing foods that work with your hormones, not against them. And remember, sustainable weight loss isn't about punishment. It's about building smarter habits. If this video helped you see things differently, don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe for more science-backed health tips every week. And leave a comment. What surprised you most about today's topic?